Hopefully I'm centered. Am I? It looks like I am. Here, here, yeah. So I feel like right now with everything going on, my image on the internet or whatever, even though like my following isn't even crazy, like I, I'm just starting anything, right? But the way that I show myself in social media and the way that I create content is like, I try to be this free flowing, goofy, funny, fun girl. And I don't take things seriously or that's the way that I like to portray myself. Just someone who wants to make people laugh. I do want to make people laugh, but I never really tell or show the more serious side of me, especially when it comes to aspect of my hobbies and what I'm interested in and what I like to do in my free time or the things that I believe. This is that explanation, right? Because if you're gonna be following my YouTube channel, you gotta know a little something about me other than just whatever the dumb crap I be doing to my hair. My name, really? Let's do an icebreaker. Let's do an icebreaker, guys. My name is Christina Wynn. I am 20 years old. I'm going to be 21 on September 18th. That is pretty soon. It's crazy. 21. I am going into my third year. I'm a psychology and philosophy major. And a fun fact about me is that I have a blind dog. Okay, anyways, it's obviously weird because I never talk about serious things ever. I'd always, I'd always try to downplay the idea of whatever I'm interested in. Like, yeah, I like philosophy and psychology and I am into crystals and I talk to them and I also do a lot of meditations and I talk to the moon and stuff and I also manifest a lot and I'm really into spirituality and blah, 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 blah. I say it like that because I'm not really comfortable sharing it, but what's the point in holding it back because it is me, like it's a part of me, so. Here I am. Religion has always been a thing in my life. It's a it's a thing that I've always cared about a lot. When I was younger, I lived in a Buddhist household, but I went to church. And from that time when I was like a child until 13, until I went to high school, I mainly went because there was friends in church and my family went to church and it seemed more of a social thing. Everything was fine until the day that the preacher went up on stage and started saying stuff about, um, yeah, don't be friends with gay people. Gay people aren't good. They're not supposed to be gay. It's supposed to be man and women. And that's what it is. And if you are friends with anyone that's gay, then that's a sin and blah, 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 blah. And they started saying all this stuff about not being friends with gay people. And it made me really uncomfortable and it wasn't something I could agree with. Before I went to church without really understanding the seriousness of everything. But like, even if I didn't understand it, even if I didn't know where this was going or where it would lead me, them saying that it was really off putting. To me, it didn't make sense that you shouldn't try to understand somebody or be friends with somebody or be nice to somebody because of their sexual orientation. And that's just, it just didn't make sense to me. So I left. When I was younger, I was a really logical, rational, like constructive, black or white mindset. I was a child, so that makes sense. When I was younger, it was really hard for me to understand. You don't have to physically see something to believe in it. I became an atheist, but I was like an angry atheist. I don't, I don't know who I was mad at. I don't know why I was mad, but uh, it frustrated me a lot that there wasn't one correct religion that I could follow that I knew was right. I feel like a lot of people say the story where they feel like a part of them is missing, you know, and they want to find that part of themselves even though they don't know what it is. Like they intuitively feel like something is missing even though they don't know what it is. Obviously looking back now that you're never gonna find one true answer. In my world, in the perspective that I saw, in my little bubble, I only thought that there was Buddhism and Christianity and that was it completely ignorant of everything else. I just did not know that there was anything else out there. But one day in high school, I was talking to my friend. Let's call her, what's her name? I'm actually, I'm thinking of names of people I know. Luna, let's call her Luna. Or she was sharing something to the class and she was telling them about like how she's spiritual and stuff. And I didn't understand what that meant. I was like, oh, like spiritual, meaning like religious, they're like synonyms, right? And she's like, no, not really. Oh, I don't know if I should talk about this right now in class. And I was just like, wait, no, 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 I wanna know. Like we're in a group circle and I was like asking her questions about this. And she was like, well, I believe in a God, but I don't 
think that it's the God in the Bible. And I was like, how is there a God, but it's not the God in the Bible? That's pretty much where our friendship started. I learned a lot more about spirituality and I don't want to say mysticism, but that's the word that came ahead. That's a good word though, right? Mysticism. Yes. And I learned more about ghosts and paranormal activity and universe consciousness, horoscopes, astrology. That was the, I guess, like the, the super surface level of everything. To me at that time, the stuff was just interesting, but I didn't really believe it. Even though I said I was spiritual, I don't know. I didn't really look into it that much. After that, I went on my life, high school, whatever. I didn't say I was atheist. What's the other word? Not atheist, not ignorant, not impermanent, not emperor. What the hell? What is the word? The word where you, be where you think that there's a higher being, but you don't know what it is but you don't believe in anything specifically. Oh, this is gonna kill me. I'm gonna edit the video. I'm gonna hate myself. What? Uh-uh, this pissed me off. Agnostic! Eh, agnostic. It's right, school just started. I will get back in the zone and I will learn all these words all over again. So that's what I was. When college came around, I was in a really low spot in my life and I started getting into more stuff about spirituality because I needed to believe in something else. I decided that if there was anything to believe in, it had to be something out there, just something to keep me going. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in the friends that I had during the time. And I, I felt really alone. I felt like I couldn't go to anybody. So fine, okay, I'll, I'll give in to the spirituality crap, fine. Looking back now, it's been a crazy journey to get to the spot where I actually believe in the things that I believe in. I I believe in the things that I say. Um, it, this isn't something that I just keep to myself and I write it in my journal and um, I live my life and I just keep it to myself. It's something that I genuinely believe in and I want to share with other people. My path of growth, it wasn't linear and there has been many breaks. The universe has let me be involved with my ego enough. I have interacted with my ego enough. The thing that I wish I knew when I was younger was that this is something Alan Watts said, which made me wanna make this video in the first place, which made me wanna share my ideas in the first place. But it doesn't matter if the idea is true or not. It's not whether the idea is factual, it is correct. And this is the one true religion theory. What matters is what the idea does for you. That line just like stuck out of my mind. It gave me more space to expand like my acceptance and understanding for other cultures and other religions and people and their perspectives and their experiences. People can agree to disagree. I don't want to be nervous about sharing something that people could disagree with. There, there's nothing I can do. If someone disagrees, they disagree. If they believe in something else, they believe in something else. It took me a long time to admit or to, to even give spirituality a chance because I didn't wanna be wrong. I was looking more into Alan Watts stuff and a quote that he said, I can't remember it exactly, but it's like, there, is no good or bad way to do something. There's no right or wrong way to do something. Um, but the only thing that could be bad is if you take it too seriously. Oh, that like, that like struck my heart. I was like, yo, you're right. It doesn't matter if it's right or not because in the end of everything, even though it took me a long journey to even like start diving into spirituality, I wouldn't trade it for anything because Along the way, I was able to learn more about other people and their experiences. I was able to open my heart to understand people and their differences and stuff like that. Right now we live in a climate where it seems like if you look like this, then we don't like you. If you act like this, then we don't like you. If you believe in this, then we don't like you. And personally, the United States especially really emphasizes the differences to separate each other. I wish that instead, instead of taking it all too seriously and thinking that 
um, one way of thinking has to be the right way, right? Like the supreme way of thinking. I think that people should shift their perspective into appreciating people as they are, appreciating whatever they believe and appreciating their experiences. Because at the end of it, who are we to tell somebody else that what they experienced is invalid? What they felt in that religion, in their environment, within their culture is invalid. Who am I to tell somebody what's right or wrong? Who am I to tell somebody that they can't believe in what they believe or they can't be who they want to be? Uh, to me, spirituality gives people a space to make a connection with divine source, consciousness, the universe in their own unique way, in whatever way that they need. The level of love that I am able to give people through me looking into spirituality and stuff is something that really struck me. And in my pursuit of trying to find what I should live by. Nowadays, I'm more Buddhist. Right now, I'm spiritual. I, I just let that be a general label. But um, I'm looking into more Buddhist ways of living and thinking. Buddhism isn't supposed to be a religion. And Buddha doesn't think that there's necessarily one right God that you should look towards to. Or if you should even look towards... There's a fly. They believe that all that matters is you. Is creating a world for yourself that relieves the most suffering. And in you working on yourself and working on your your shadow side, your inner turmoil, ter, your inner term oil, um, the battles that you encounter, you're helping society in general. And when you look at yourself and you give love to yourself and pay attention to your feelings, your thoughts and you're mindful about who you are, then it helps society as a whole. And that spreads love and light to other people. I just think all this stuff is so beautiful. But that's me. Uh, that's me and my process right now through spirituality. And um, I don't know. You know, we're always going through a state of impermanence. Things always change. So my opinions will always change. My mindset will always change. The things I believe in will change. But this is what I currently believe in now. Oh my God, Th that fly landed right on my nose. It is so bold, bold. I'm only just starting anything. If you guys wanna follow along, that would be dope. I want to tell more stories about um, these specific instances that I had with the universe and the signs that they give me. Tell more stories about my dreams, lucid dreaming, astral projection, the experiences I had when I meditate, stuff about past lives, tarot, uh, astrology and that is stuff that you are interested in learning about with me then follow along thank you for listening to my super long <laughs> rant uh i hope you guys have a good day i love everybody Mwah. thank you